the aria, so this is your, your thoroughbred type tying up. Um, high grain diets are thought to contribute to excitability, which is then thought to trigger the, the tying up. So for this reason, the recommended um, the current recommendations for grain in these horses' diets is to provide no more than 20% of the energy in a, in a tying up horse's diet um, from grain. Raw grains are also known to negatively affect behaviour, probably, th well, we're pretty sure through the starch fermentation in the hindgut um, and hindgut acidosis, so you should never ever feed uh, raw grains to a horse that ties up. And, and often um, when we've got racing thoroughbreds that are tying up that are on like a cracked corn, rolled barley type diet, it's just a matter of changing them to an extruded feed and they'll stop tying up because it stops, the feeds stop messing with their head so much and they stop being so highly strong and nervous. Um, it is a weird thing if you've got a trainer that's got a, a filly that ties up, um, the problem is that they go, oh God, last time I went out to train it really, really hurt and they get even more nervous um, and so they'll tie up again the next time they go out. So often they'll sedate them after they've tied up. They'll give them not so much sedation that they can't run around, but they'll give them just enough um, sedation that it just takes the edge off them and they relax the next time they go out to train um, and they won't tie up. It's weird. So it is, it is, a, mental, it is a mental thing and it's really, really strange. Um, don't overfeed because, again, if you overfeed, you do tend to cause a bit more of that um, hyperactivity and, and nervousness, especially in young thoroughbreds. Um, selenium, vitamin E and electrolyte requirements must be met. They've, they've showed a couple of times that, that increasing selenium and vitamin E doesn't actually prevent tying up, but it's certainly going to help with protecting muscles from damage, so it's a good idea to still have it in there. Um, oil and high energy fibres should be used for additional energy or calories where required. So a racing um, thoroughbred, we've reduced their grain, but we still have to put a fair, bit of, a fair few calories in there so that they've got enough energy to work. Um, you'd be the same with eventers and um, high level dressage horses and stuff. You need to start using oils and high energy fibres, so things like lupin hulls, soybean hulls, sugar beet pulp. Um, ingredient like products like the Easy Fibre that Prides have got that are loop and holes and loosen leaf meal, um, they all work really well in diets like this. The Easy Feed Selector that I mentioned before on the Prides website, if you put in that your horse has got this form of tying up, it will give you a diet that's appropriate for them. So it won't use very much grain, it will use oil and fibre to top it up. <laughs>